have my man. We go round one from Las Vegas. De La Hoya in the black with the white trim and in the gold, like Corte. No, these are two guys with the idea of the jab and with the absence of reach as Oscar tries to take for yes. someone really to establish himself. Off the move on angles. Almost two minutes gone in the first round. This is good boxing, Dave, if you like. Uh... This left hook that time by Ike. Oscar bounces a couple of light ones off the forehead thing was that is a nice combination of punches there left hook and this time the right hand the body and then he came the left hook upstairs and at this stage in this round Oscar can steal this round and side and then push him away I was getting ready to give Corte this round and now I'm leaning towards Oscar jab 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 nothing really gets through hard but he's got to keep throwing that and then work down to the body instead Corte goes downstairs and touches up Oscar the judges you left it in the hands but I don't know what else he can do I mean De La Hoya right now is more aggressive throwing more punches the other side of that argument right is you know you dance with Ugrunga Ghana to Las Vegas he's been in the States and had a few fights here but uh, Oscar having a nice finish to this round as well how many rounds did Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard steal by doing exactly what Oscar's doing now Oscar just better be sure he doesn't get clipped in the chin while he's uh, letting fly. From that last round, here comes Corte, jab out. De La Hoya catches him nicely with the right hand and the left hook just a power shot. You're looking to get your guy out of his plan A, get out of his comfort zone. And De La Hoya does that with body shots and with good leverage through the middle. Good job by De La Hoya. It's a blazing fast hook by De La Hoya, even though it didn't get in. Shows that here's the right hand by De La Hoya behind his left. Good balance, sets the situation up, and he scored with two shots. And they'd be in a spot to fire a quick one back. Maybe not maximum power, but enough. Oh, yeah, and there it was right there. He's kind of like his legs are up on the, and underneath his trunk. And now they just open up right at the bell. I gotta give that to De La Hoya again. Close as they are, they're going to be little things that make the difference. By the way, that was a good body shot by Ed Corte. Oscar bounces one off the head there with that left jab. Uh, he fainted down. I thought he was going to throw the right hand, but he came back with the left hook. Uh, one feet get tied up. Oscar throws a shot and misses, and Corte just touched him up. Approaching the midway portion, and he's making Oscar miss in this round. Best round of the fight now. I, I didn't think he did quite enough, but Oscar hasn't been able to get to him here. Fourth round, they get a lot of confidence. And again, Oscar got tied up when he threw his right hand with an outstretched left hand, Ike Corte. That vulnerability to try and score. But unless Oscar starts with his left jab, his right hand more or less as the bell ends the fifth round. By the way, that's a Corte round. Uh, Corte definitely won the fifth, in my opinion. And here we are in round number six. And just as I say that, look what happens. Here's De La Hoya, the right hand. First knockdown of that round. Good left hook. Put Corte squared up, and Corte is down. Ike Corte goes down. So all the momentum as the count goes up, the day, he'll take the standing eight count. Left hook, and it was a perfect combination of the good execution of his hook. Now look at this, a, a, a real fight is broken out here because Corte realized he was sneaking back into this fight. First minute, of course, goes to Oscar. Oh, look at this! Oscar goes down! So that round's even up. Good shot for him. As he tries to parlay, Corte reminds him he can't just walk in. That was a great shot. It was nice hook that counts up to seven and eight. Go down here in the sixth round. And now who can take it? And Mitch Halpern in there separates the two, calls time. Now there's no three knockdown rule. Nice straight right hand, and Austin could have gone down again. Faded out of it and drilled his way back in. Oh. He really needed that knockdown okay. in a short time. Seventh round action continues. Now he's aware, both fighters are aware right now that at this point he's the harder puncher. 
Austin misses twice again. The crowd gets excited. But look who took the worst of that. Again, Corte. Man, I think that round slipped away from uh, De La Hoya. I gotta give it to Corte again. Fight than a lot of people Second thought. Time. Watch this. There is Let's go. Wow. end of the round action. Like Maybe you're round four to him too. One of those early ones, so it's. Yeah, better legs than the other guy. Use them. On one. Both guys were down back in the sixth round. You get a stat throw on the right hand. Even that time when he went in with the left hook, he was a bit tentative. Ike has got a lot of pop in his hands. He's been dropped. He's felt the power. He gets nailed there as he's starting to lean in. He's not committed as he's coming in. We have seen a difference in the attack mode of De La Hoya in the last minute of this round. But you know something? You're right, Dave, but he's got to get more offensive-minded here. And here he goes. Landed at least one good punch and snapped the head back of Mike Corte. Here's De La Hoya flurrying. Best individual, even though his early punches did not land at the beginning of this round. You can slap down that left hand oh. and then come back with a right. I'm not sure if that right hand caught Oscar, but if it did, man, he's got great legs. And now back comes Oscar, lands a few more. Effort of the round, and then that's one big shot by Corte. We talked second about the down. judges to love. A signature down. shot. But Oscar now is capturing the attention of the judges like he did early in the, the fight. Ike misses with that shot. Makes him miss again. Makes him miss again. He gets a little light one throw. Uh, they, in reality, have... Ooh, look at that! That's a good shot by Oscar. Crisp, excellent offensive-minded jab throughout this contest. A punishing jab. Last minute or so here. It's been crisp. Ooh, man. Oscar held that left hand down. It's a good thing he was throwing because he was wide, wide open for a return right-hand shot. That's, that's nothing to the body and then the left hook up top see the left hand how low it is and that is what he makes Corte pay for left hand down low right hand left hook credit De La Hoya for seizing the opportunity when it mattered the most in the final round that is a huge another left hook knockdown now that could be the difference in the fight. Oscar trying to put the lights out and make it real definitive. He's all over. Mitch Halpern is looking to see if he should stop the fight, but Ike is throwing back. Well, if the people wanted excitement in the end, they got it. Look at this. Oh, he caught him again with a good shot. Mitch could stop the fight, but Cote is still throwing punches. It's a world championship fight. He knows it's close. Oh, he took another big left hand, right hand shot. He had every reason to stop this if he wants. And there's a lot of time to go. The big thing is, has Oscar punched himself out now? And if so, has Corte got enough to come back? He looks like he's out on his feet. Look at him. Legs are gone, heels are heavy, knees are loose. And Oscar, for the first time in the fight, has to hang on. Uh, rather, the knockdown and that assault. <laughs> this is a huge round for Oscar De La Hoya so far. He went for it. Left himself a little tired doing it. He put every effort in, and some referees would have stopped that fight. There's 40 seconds to go, and Corte still has a shot now. Oscar is a very tired fighter right here. Has things that can separate them in this fight. And De La Hoya has got two of them compared to one by Corte. And that's a definitive knockdown. All right, the bell ends, and I got it scored 115-112. It might be closer than that. For the winner by split decision, and still the undefeated...